In this lesson, I wanted to introduce you to looping sound and to syncing up visuals to those sounds. Um, you want to use looping sounds when possible because they take up much less memory if you're doing a web type of file um, than a full length piece of music. So um, I'm using, I've come to this site called Flash Kit where there are already um, people have submitted their creations as all sorts of different things, sound effects, um, and I've clicked on sound loops and what it does is it shows you the different sound loops. They're typically musical loops and they're built in, they're categorized. So I have, I had gone into world beat and chosen something fairly randomly because really this is just to demonstrate this. I um, chose this four second one and to download it you simply click on download and I recommend that you opt for the WAV file because you can always compress down a sound but you can't add quality into it and mp3s don't have the quality of WAV. Do be aware that not all of these are copyright free so if you're going to use them for any commercial endeavors you need to read what the, um, the desires of the person who created it are. Um, but for this exercise I'm just going to use this. So I've downloaded the sound and now I'm going to go into Flash and I'm going to go import that sound in. So File, Import, Import to Library. And this brings the file, the sound file into the library. Now we've already dealt with some, um, here it is, World Beat. And we've already dealt a little bit with um, event sounds, little short bursts of sound, but this is different. This is a, tr a musical phrase, and you can see a very nice, clear uh, waveform. This is representing the music. If I click on this, that is the loop, and it will loop indefinitely if I tell it to. So let's drag it out to my stage here and it's only going to show up in one frame initially. So I'm going to just arbitrarily come out here. I do know how many seconds it is, but I'm just going to go ahead and put some time on. And yes, in fact, it looks like it ends at 60. So if I'm working at um, 15 frames a second, that should be four seconds of audio, which is exactly what it is. Now, suppose I wanted to have seven seconds of animation and I wanted it to be fading out for one second so that would give me a total of eight seconds eight times fifteen well it's a 120 more or less let's go out here and I keep hitting the F5 without the FN I'm on my laptop so there's the amount of time that I want to have and I'm gonna tell this sound to repeat actually in the beginning I said loop but I want it to repeat two times and that should give me the full 120 frames that I was after. And now I'm going to go in because I said I wanted to fade it out. Now, there are some built-in fades, and I could just choose fade out. But let's take a look at what that did inside because I want you to be able to do this. If we look at, I'm going to zoom out and change this to frames so that we can see. What it did was it, it started the fade out early because it didn't take into consideration my repeat. So it didn't even really do what I needed to do. What I want it to do is come out to about frame 100 right there and then I want it to fade out. So I'm just clicking on these lines and this represents left and right speakers. So when I click a dot, you know, one of these little squares, it does put it in both places and to get rid of them you just sort of wing them off just like that technical term, wing them off. And I'm dragging now the channel down. Sometimes they like to fly off even when you don't want them to. So this should give me a fade out and we'll, um, we'll test that in the timeline. So I'm going to say OK. And you don't see the, the waveform fading out. You will not see it. But we can drag over here and we can play it. And it's not fading out. Why is it not fading out? Let's try that again. Sound, custom, edit. 
goes to frame 120. It should be faded out. Let's see if we can have it fade out a little early and maybe we're not hearing it soon enough. All right. By the way, this is set right now to stream. And yours might by default be set to event. Mine is by default set to stream. And you'll notice with stream that if I scrub over it, I can hear the sound. If I change it to event sound or one of the other options, no sound when I scrub. So that's another benefit. All right, the other thing I wanted to set up is to make this layer 300%. Um, so I'm going to actually look at the layer properties. And again, this is going off the screen, but at the bottom of this menu is something called properties. And then it gives you this other menu. I want to raise the height of that layer to 300%. And all this is going to do is give me a more clear picture of my waveform so I can really see those beats. And if I want my visuals to follow along with those beats, that's all the easier. So let's listen. I'm hoping that we're going to hear that fade this time. Good. Yay. OK, so now I'm ready for my visuals. We'll do that in the next video.